In tonight's Consumer Watch, do you really know what your car insurance covers? Well, a Sonoma County woman found out that the policy she was paying for wasn't as thorough as she thought. And the tough lesson comes courtesy of some very hungry rats. Here's Sue Kwan on the Consumer Watch. Rhonda Elliott loves her 2006 Acura RL. I drive it every day. But then came the glitches. So I first noticed that my daytime running lights weren't coming on, and then my blinker started kind of going crazy. When she took it into the shop in Santa Rosa, they quickly found the problem. Rats had chewed through the engine wires. I would say we get two cars a week. Service manager Don Rigo says it happens a lot and showed us a car with much worse damage. And they've actually made a nest up in the top of the engine compartment right here. They get underneath the intake manifold of the engine and they start chewing on the wires. The repairs to Rhonda's car cost her $2,600. But they said, don't worry, Mrs. Elliott, it will be taken care of by your insurance company. But that's not what happened to Rhonda. Although she had been with Farmers Insurance for 20 years and never filed a claim, the company refused to pay. You can imagine how shocked we were when our claim was rejected. She learned her comprehensive policy was not exactly comprehensive. Instead, farmers told her in this denial letter that she's got something called a named peril policy. That means only the specific items or perils listed in this short paragraph are covered, including, among other things, damage caused by missiles, civil commotion, explosions, and earthquakes. But there was nothing about rats. The answer's been no, no, and no. What made her more mad was that she could not find any mention of named peril anywhere in her 32-page policy. This is highly unfair. Joe Rideout of Consumer Action says he has never heard of named peril coverage for auto insurance. What's really shocking about this is that it brazenly defies the plain English meaning of comprehensive. But unfortunately, uh, with some insurance companies, apparently plain English could be a foreign language. This family did nothing wrong. They paid their premiums year in and year out. And when they needed their insurance company, the auto insurer turned their back on them. Doug Heller heads Consumer Watchdog and says more insurers are using jargon like named peril to deny legitimate claims. And the behavior of farmers in this case is just totally unacceptable. And I really think that they have to go back and look at this claim and say, we sold you comprehensive coverage. We're going to give you comprehensive coverage. This is Sheba, and she is quite the killer. Rhonda's now gotten a killer cat, hired a pest control company, and switched to an insurance company that covers rodent damage. And she's filed a complaint with the State Department of Insurance, hoping, she says, to force farmers to honor the meaning of the word comprehensive. If I'm hit by a missile, I'll be covered. Or my car gets blown up, I'll be covered. But God forbid a rat should attack your car, because then you're not covered. Farmers tell CBS 5 it has reviewed Ms. Elliott's case and stands by its decision to reject her claim. As for the State Department of Insurance, it says it has no legal authority to reverse an insurer's denial of coverage unless a law has been broken. But a spokesman says the department is willing to look at a separate claim from Ms. Elliott for misrepresentation of coverage. Sue Kwan, CBS 5, Consumer Watch.